Hey, what's up guys? Nathan here with CBI and Prinsu. We are out in the wild today to show off our new Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Everybody's been talking about this vehicle and I know we've shared little bits and pieces of it, but we've got it pretty well built out. So we wanna do a walk around and show you guys what we've done with it. So let's check it out. All right, so the point of this walk around is to talk about all the things that we've done to this Nissan Frontier, and also to give you guys some insight into what we think about this truck so far, as we've used it a little bit off-road, and as we built products for it, we definitely have some opinions that we've formed. Um, the other thing that's really cool is we're gonna give you some insight into ways that we're gonna continue to build out this truck. So let's start at the front end um, first off i think overall styling it's it's been said online and i would agree with it 100 uh, percent nissan has done a great job with the aesthetics and styling of this truck it definitely looks tough it looks way better once it's lifted and has some decent sized tires on it but they've done a great job with it it's got a kind of a burly tough look and um, that look matches its performance for the most part so if we look at the front end here, um, the first thing you'll notice is we've changed the front bumper. Um, we've gone with our Covert Series bumper. That's the first bumper we've offered for this Frontier. And it is, in my mind, it's one of our best Covert bumpers to date. Um, it's a work of art. It matches perfectly with the front of this truck. And if you notice, if you look, when we, when we show you the full-on straight view of this, it matches this body line all the way around. So there's two things that happen in the way that we've, we've designed this. First off, the installation is super easy. You do have to trim and cut to make the bumper fit, but there's lines already on the vehicle that make it very easy to do. The other thing is, is because of how we've designed it, um, it would be next to impossible to screw up this installation. So for all of you who wanna install it yourself, there's a lot of hope for you. You don't have to worry about it or stress about it. Um, we used uh, one of the things that I think is the coolest, honestly, is we have a special die that we use for this. <laughs> I'm laughing at Branson. I just got to point this out. Branson here is trying to film and he's got bugs flying, ar <laughs> flying around his legs and he's, he's shaking. And <laughs> Sorry, I it's like biting my legs. <laughs> It's getting a little wild. So anyways, going back to this, uh, this portion here, we use a special die that matches this radius. And to me, that's one of the things that really just icing on the cake, finalize this bumper. Um, another thing that's really cool is just like all of our coverts, you've got a built-in light bar mount. So there's room for a 30 inch single row light bar, integrated winch mounting, it's super easy to mount a winch into this bumper. You can mount anything up to a 12,000 pound winch. Um, we have the VR Evo series, it's a 10S is what we have mounted in here. Um, you have lots of access on both sides, plus you can see your winch line right here above the fair lead opening. And then of course we're running our CBI fair lead mount and the Factor 55 flat link, which is a great combo on the front end. Um, just like all our other bumpers, we've incorporated our CNC machine uh, D-ring tabs. So these are sh soft shackle compatible, as well as your standard three quarter inch screw, screw pin style shackle. One last thing, this bumper's got a lot of tricks and, and features, but one last thing that's really cool is you'll notice on the side here, we have this bolt on plate. It's kind of a decorative plate. If you take that plate off, um, we've engineered this bumper to work with a center grill guard. So if you want kind of a more stout, tough look and added protection for the front end of your vehicle, then you can bolt that on. And here's what's really cool about it. We engineered it so that you don't have to take the bumper off to install that bull bar. There are um, threaded holes in all of these spots. So you can just literally unbolt the plate bolt your bull bar on. 
Again, that bull bar has been engineered for impact resistance, so it's gonna be strong and it's gonna hold up for off-road use. And uh, again, it just, it just makes the front end of this thing, it just changes it, it makes it look tougher. Another thing that's really important with the Nissan Frontiers is your cruise control sen sensor module. So we've relocated that behind the grill. In the factory spot, it was down here. We put it up here behind the grill. Um, we've tested it in all the scenarios, so your cruise control and your adaptive cruise function is gonna work just fine with this bumper. Um, that Man, that was a mouthful. There was a lot going on there. But uh, I love this bumper. To me, it changes the look of this truck so much and just gives it such an aggressive look, and it fits with the aesthetics of the front end. Not to mention just the bumper, but we have our skid plates as well underneath. Um, we're running, this particular skid is a steel skid, but we're offering them in steel and aluminum. And same concept really went into the design of this skid plate. It's designed not only to work with the factory setup, but also with our covert style bumper. And the skid plate has all the same characteristics as the bumper, it's built to look like it fits on this vehicle. It's built for um, protection and impact resistance. And having this full set of skids on this vehicle is a major benefit um, for off-road use. It's one of those things that we suggest to our customers that they purchase you know, right off the bat is a good set of skid plates, um, some rock sliders. To have all that protection underneath, you're protecting the vital parts of the vehicle. So uh, we opted to do kind of our, our uh, customary TRD gray is what we call it from the Toyota side of the world, but um, we like that light gray uh, powder coat color for the skids and, and it really shows them off. One thing to keep in mind for all of you Frontier enthusiasts is although uh, our covert bumper is our only offering right now, it's not gonna be the only bumper that we offer forever. Um, we are in development on the full bumper as well. So we're gonna have a full on bumper offering. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that as we continue to build out this truck. Those are gonna be things that we're gonna be showing off and, and giving everybody sneak peeks of what's going on. Um, one other thing, as long as we're on the front end that I just wanna mention is the headlights and fog lights. Um, this truck gets naturally compared to the Tacoma because it's almost identical in every measurement, inside and outside. And I think Nissan has taken a lot of cues from the Tacoma. Um, but one thing that I really like about this truck that they've done is the LED headlights and the fog lights. And we've noticed with some of our other vehicles that the factory lights that come on the vehicle are marginal. And it's the exact opposite with this truck. We've been blown away with the, the quality of output in the lights. And um, it doesn't matter what the situation is, you know, whether you got your low beams on, high beams on, they all work really well. And even the, the factory LED fog lights are pretty darn impressive. So I think Nissan did a good job there. Okay, let's talk wheels and tires and suspension. It's probably one of the things that we've got the most questions on recently is A, what lift did we put on this? And what size of tire are we running? So let's talk about the lift. We're running a Niztec four inch lift. Um, it's got their coilover set up on the front. We're running the SPC upper control arms, uh, which, you know, a lot of times in speaking about lifts, you know, there's, there's kind of a cutoff of when you want to have your upper control arms. I would say if it's within your budget, always go with the aftermarket upper control arm. It's going to give you um, better alignment. It's going to give you more droop in most cases and you're gonna get a better performing suspension with, uh, with that upper control arm paired with the lift kit. This is a four inch lift. Um, as far as tire size here, you can see it right here at the top, we're running a 285-75-17, which is a true 33 inch tire. This is a Nitto Ridge Grappler, uh, one of our favorite tires to run. Um, it just, it kind of has everything that we need for our climate. It's, it's an aggressive looking tire. It's got a good tread pattern for summer uh, off-road trails. It has decent siping for winter uh, roads, I should say, and trails. And um, it just wears really well. But this tire measures overall diameter is 33.9 inches. So it's just a hair shy of 34 inches 
as far as the overall diameter. If you look at the, the wheel well setup, um, we did have to do just a little trimming on the back here. So this is just on the plastic in the lower portion of the fender. So we did a little clearancing there and then we did a little up front. Um, because of the way our covert bumper is, you can tuck the plastic lining of the, the inner wheel well liner into the covert bumper and it just gives it a really nice clean finish. And so that's what we did on the front that just gave us a little more clearance there so that we're not rubbing at full articulation. Um, we went with the Black Rhino, uh, I think they call this the, the Rapide or something like that. I don't know, it's got like some Italian name. But um, this wheel is awesome. We actually went with or looked at several different kinds of wheels for this truck and this wheel fits perfect and here's why. It looks black, but it's not. It's a really dark bronze. And so that really dark bronze paired with the color of this truck, I mean, it's just, it's money. It looks awesome. So that's been a great wheel tire combo. The Niztec lift, it does have a diff drop. Um, we went with the Old Man Emu full leaf pack on the rear, along with their uh, Niztec shocks. Um, they're not remote reservoir shocks, but so far for how we've been using our vehicle, they've been working great. Um, we've had really good off-road performance. I think it, it lifted the vehicle enough to fit these big tires. And again, it just made this truck look even tougher. Um, so that's the wheel tire combo. If you guys have any comments or questions on that, don't hesitate, just comment below and we'll definitely help you out and um, get you more specs as needed. If we look at the rest of this truck, of course we have our ditch light brackets. Again, this is another one of those go-to accessories. You just wanna have these on your truck. They have so much functionality, plus they look cool. Um, we always like to point our ditch lights out to the side because we usually have a light bar on the front. So that light bar will provide the forward proje projection, which we have the, the Heretic 30 inch amber light bar in the front of this. And it's perfect for off-road driving and lighting up the trail. So we don't need any more light there. Um, so we've got these Heretic uh, BA2s on the, the ditch lights and we always angle them out at least 45 degrees. These are a little more than 45 and that's because we've got such a good spread for forward lighting that we just wanted to get more of the, the side of the road, side of the trail lit up. Um, and that's again a great, a great compact way to add lighting to your vehicle. We move along to the side of the truck here. I guess we'll talk about the, the Prinsu rack for a second. Uh, again, it's a brand new product offering for the Frontier. Um, it has all of the original Prinsu styling and characteristics and functionality. It's low profile, it's all aluminum. You can move your crossbars wherever you need. You can see we actually mounted an extra crossbar here so that we could put our Rome box, mount, box mounts on there and mount our Rome boxes up top, um, super easy to do. That's the benefit of the Prince rack is it's incredibly functional and you can put it to use however you need it to work. Uh, we chose to pair our Ridgeline handles. Um, I'm, typically we will run two, one here, one there. Uh, we haven't put another set back on. We sold a set off of the truck at one of the last events. so. We'll get another set on there, but we always run two pairs. Um, there's two reasons that I like to do that. A, if I'm the guy getting in the truck and I need a little more you know, handle getting in, it's right by the driver's side or the, the passenger in the back. Um, the other thing is I climb up to the boxes. You know, Not always am I just in the front of the box or like with these Rome boxes, you can see there's three latches. So I like to use the handles you know, for these first two. And then if I had the handle, I'd grab the last handle here and undo that latch. And then I have access to all my gear. Um, this is probably my favorite setup right now on a Prince rack is to run boxes. If you have a bigger vehicle like a Forerunner or um, a Bronco or something like that, you could run some boxes, still mount some Max Tracks or Rotopacks, whatever you want. Um, but these boxes are super functional. There's always a lack of storage space in these small trucks. And uh, like you can see here, I've got a tent. We have our recovery bag. I've got an extra chair. We just pulled out a, a group of 
four chairs for the peanut gallery that's putting some pressure on me here. But uh, it's just a great way to carry your gear. And so I'm a big fan of the Rome boxes and the, the versatility that they provide. We also have on the front a Heretic 40 inch light bar. Um, again, that's a spot beam pattern and we're looking for projection, especially for fast travel down the trail. Um, it's a great feature to have for your Prinsu rack. It, it snugs right in, the light bar's cut out for it. And um, the great thing about the way the Prinsu rack is designed and developed is it's extremely quiet. That's one of our biggest goals when we design a new rack is, is to make sure it is really quiet, even when you start putting other accessories on it. And that wind deflector makes a big difference in the, the noise level that the rack provides. Um, we even did a really cool uh, YouTube video. So if you haven't seen it, you'll wanna check it out on our page. But we give you through a, a decibel reader, the difference of a stock truck. And it was this truck that we used compared to this truck with a Prinsu rack. So be sure and check that out. Um, I think that hits the majority of the items for the Prinsu rack. Uh, let's talk a little bit about steps. So these are our side steps. Um, it's the first product offering as far as rocker protection and a step option that we've given for the Frontier. Um, this is just a great go-to product. They are built significantly stronger than your standard Nerf bars or side steps. Um, although not as strong as a full rock slider, uh, but they give you tons of functionality getting in and out of your truck, you know, getting up to your roof rack and gear on the rack or whatever it may be, getting into your tent, you know, on the, bat, on the bed of the truck and, and folding it in and out, but they just work awesome. Um, the thing I really like about these steps is, is the styling of them as well. It's a very unique style that we've come up with and it does provide that protection, you know, from rocks and crap that are coming up from below. Um, here's another new product that's gonna be coming on this truck is full rock sliders. So that's the next thing you're gonna see us release is a full set of weight bearing rock sliders that you can use in those serious off-road conditions. So you'll be able to lift the truck uh, from the rock sliders like you do on any of our other vehicles. You can still use them as a step like we've done with our uh, top plating, and that'll be a pretty cool feature to add to this truck when we get to it. Um, one other thing just to mention really quick is we did add an S-Pod inside with their uh, little digital touch screen. Um, that's been a great feature to control all of our lighting. So we have, of course, the, the lighting on the roof rack, the ditch lights, and then the bumpers. Um, we're gonna be adding rock lighting to this as well. Um, that's another one of my personal favorite uh, accessories and we usually put two rock lights in the front um, off or near the front bumper, two uh, behind the front tires, uh, two here just behind the cab and then two on the back and it just gives a really nice um, array of light around the entire vehicle and so it works well for camping and when you're out on the trail at night to light up you know your your tire path and things like that. So that's going to be another fun thing that we're going to be adding. One other thing that I just want to touch base on really quick is the drivability of this truck. So this truck has been blowing us away. It has a nine speed transmission. It's a V6 motor. Um, I think it's around 310 horsepower and this truck drives the best of all of our midsize vehicles. Um, the only thing that competes with it is the ZR2 with that diesel motor. That is the only truck that competes with it. And um, it is just so nice to drive. It's smooth, it shifts well. You don't have weird shift points or anything like that. I think Nissan has killed it. Um, the crazy thing is too, is for a little truck, this thing carries a lot of weight. Um, we hooked up Hal's boat to it last week and I was super nervous to pull it across town for him. And uh, I think that thing with the trailer weighs almost 6,000 pounds and it just pulled it like a champ. I mean, it was just, you couldn't even fill it. So I think that's a big testament to the transmission on this truck and the way they paired that with the motor and how they work together. Um, We've even posted on our channel, and hopefully you guys have seen it, but the fuel economy we've been getting on this truck has been awesome. We just did a trip to Oregon and put on several thousand miles, both on-road and off-road, 
and the entire trip we averaged like 16.7 miles to the gallon. And that was loaded just like this. I mean, our boxes were loaded. We had stuff in the bed of the truck for camping and, and the trails we were hitting. And we still got that kind of fuel economy. And, and we weren't, if you guys know me, these guys tease me, but I don't like to go slow on the freeway. You know, we weren't just putzing along on the freeway. We were, we were doing the speed limit at least. <laughs> so anyways, awesome. They've done a great job with it. Let's go back to the back of the truck then. We'll finish off with our bed bars. Again, another really popular um, option. It's a really affordable way to add accessory mounting to the truck bed of your truck. So whether it's a rooftop tent that you want to mount or bikes or kayaks or skis or snowboards or any other array of equipment, these uh, bed bars work really well. You've got some accessory mounting on the side, so we can add a high lift jack mount, Rotopax mounts, Max Trax mounts, um, whatever you need. We opted to put the, the Demo shovel here on the back, um, which is a great accessory to have uh, just for general off road and overland use and camping. Um, the other thing that's really cool to point out on these is they're really easy to install and to remove. So if you're like me, I like to have my tent for the weekends, but then sometimes I need the full space in the bed of the truck. I can, with a few bolts, I can um, just unbolt this, take it right off. They're very lightweight. It's like 30 pounds for the both pieces, so they're only like 15 pounds a piece. And they'll hold a ton of weight, way more weight than your bed can actually support. So keep that in mind, don't overload them. But um, it's a great accessory to have on this truck. And uh, we'll be coming out with a bed rack as well. So stay tuned. If bed racks are more your style, then that's going to be a new thing that we're coming out with. And then the other thing that we'll just swing around to the rear here just a bit. The other thing to keep in mind, you can see we're running the factory bumper right now. So we are currently working on R&D with our rear bumper setup. We're going to have a full rear bumper setup which will integrate your sensors. Um, it will have a receiver hitch, of course, license plate light, and accommodate the factory uh, tow connections. And it's also gonna have a full swing arm set up. So it's gonna be a dual swing arm. And just to let a little bit of, uh, uh, or one of the cats out of the bag, I should say, is it's gonna be a bolt-on swing arm, just like our Tundra as well. So that's a new thing that we've been putting a lot of design and R&D effort into and it's going to give you the consumer the opportunity to buy the bumper first and then if you decide you want the swing arm down the road you can add it or if you decide you want to start with both you can do it right out of the gate um, but it'll give you a lot of functionality and it's going to be our totally new swing arm design so that's a brand new thing that's coming for this truck um, it's kind of the next thing that we're all pumped for you know we've got a, a fifth wheel and tire just hanging out in the shop and ready to be permanently mounted on the back um, with a lot of cool accessories and gear to, to really build out this truck. So that's the Nissan Frontier. It's probably uh, quickly become one of our most exciting trucks at the shop right now. I think um, we've seen a lot of excitement from our customers and from people online and we felt the same way in-house. You know, everybody's been super stoked on this truck and we're having a lot of fun using it. So if you have a Nissan Frontier, a new one, and you have any questions about how to build it out or how our products mount on these vehicles, um, just let us know. You can comment below. You can reach out to our customer service team and any one of us would be happy to help you out. Um, the only other thing I would recommend is stay tuned for more future videos on this truck. We're gonna have a few more new products coming out and we have a few surprises that we want to show you so uh, you're not going to want to miss it if you're a Nissan fan. Other than that thanks for uh, watching our uh, Nissan Frontier walk around and stay tuned for more exciting stuff from CBI and Print 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the trip. So serious. So serious. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you out on the trip.